try to there, I'm gonna talk to you about the three moments that I went. Please take a look at the three body dimension. Okay, so we have to find a span ABC and span BCD. So the first step is finding MB and MC. Next, finding the resultant forces and drawing the shear force diagram and then the moment diagram. So I'm gonna talk to you about the how to find MB and MC today. So for span ABC, this is the standard formula you'll be using. First, we'll take a look at the left hand side. Do take note that there's a zero here because we have to change the moment at A. For LA and LB, LA will be the length of A to B and LB will be the length of B to C. Hence, we sub in the values and we'll get 40MB plus 2MC. For the right hand side, do take note there's a BA1 and BA2 because there are two forces acting on the span AB, which is 20 kN concentrated force here and the 3 kN meter uniform load. And do take note that BA is the force on the left hand side and BC is the force on the right hand side. So when you are using the formula, do use the formula for the left hand side for BA and left and right hand side for the BC. Hence, by subbing in the left hand side formula for the uniform load, we will get QA square over 24LBI bracket 2L square minus A square close bracket minus 6EI. This is the formula for the concentrated load for the left for the left hand side. Because the force is acting here at the is at the left, while the force acting here is on the right. That's why we'll use the left and the right formula for BC. So you sub in the values, you get negative one four one four point zero eight. This is your equation one. Next, for your span BCD, is the same standard formula, but the alphabets you have to add one on top of each from A to B and B to C and C to D. For the left hand side, MB LB plus 2MC bracket LB plus LC close bracket plus MB LC. Because we are taking a moment at B now, so the moment at B is 0. So I sub in the values, we get 8MB plus 26MC, that's our left hand side. For the right hand side, because there's no uniform load now, we are using the formula for concentrated load. So for CB and CD, CB will be the force on the left hand side, and CD will be the force on the right hand side. Okay, so we sub in the formula, cancel away 6. 6 EE -E, and you'll get sum in the values and you'll get negative 626.85. <clears throat> That's your equation 2. And by using simultaneous equation, you'll find MB and MC. Thank you.